<laughs> well, look who it is. It seems the universe is looking out for me after all. Who would have thought that you'd be the lawyer assigned to my case? I know, I know. I won't say anything that could count as a confession. Unfortunately, I've been through this before. But I'm sure you know that. I know you've seen me in here before as you come to defend some other poor soul who's so positive that they're innocent. I tend to be in and out of this place a bit. But luckily, I'm never found guilty for anything because I'm such an upstanding citizen. <sighs> you always come here so nicely dressed. All proper and collected. It's funny how you look so put together when you come to the prison, but when you're home by yourself, all you do is sit around wearing nothing but sweatpants and old t-shirts. <laughs> uh, that's an assumption, of course. It seems like I don't have to just watch you walk by anymore. Finally, we're face to face and you're my lawyer now. So go ahead and ask your questions. Let's get to know each other a bit better. Although, I'm sure you'll see that I already know a whole lot about you, beautiful. <laughs> Did I do it? <laughs> wow, so forward. Well, do what, exactly? Breaking and entering? Kidnapping? Assault with a blunt object? I'm sure it wasn't that bad. But to answer your question, no. No, I didn't hurt anyone. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I have an alibi. I was at this one fancy little bistro that evening, right between 7 and 9 p.m. The type of place you wouldn't expect someone like me to be caught dead in. But I was there for a reason. I distinctly remember seeing a certain someone there that night as well. A certain lawyer who must have been very overwhelmed with their work and just wanted a little bit of time to relax and enjoy a meal. All alone. That look in your eyes tells me that you remember too. Do you remember seeing me sitting across the room? Do you remember our eyes meeting? Was it as magical for you as it was for me? I could tell you recognized me, but you just couldn't place where you had seen me before. Maybe it's because I wasn't wearing this ugly jumpsuit, but I clean up pretty nicely, don't you think? I'm aware that the kidnappings took place over multiple days. I watch the news as well. You really can't just have a regular conversation with me, love. I mean, I've got nothing but time. <laughs> if you're so concerned, I have an alibi for the second day, too. On the second day, I was out at the park. That kidnapping took place in broad daylight, did it not? <laughs> like I said... I watched the news too, babe. Such a horrific scene it was, the way they broke into the victims' homes and left not even ransom notes for the two of them. It's simply tragic. But no, I was at the park, just relaxing by myself. Actually, wasn't that your day off as well? And where were you exactly? At the park, too? Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> you looked so relaxed that day. With the sun shining on your face. You were just there, sitting in the grass, people watching. You didn't even connect the dots as I walked right by you. Or when I came up and asked you for directions just so I could hear that lovely voice of yours. You still had that same look on your face. You remembered me, I know you did. You just didn't know why. It's a shame you never seem to recognize me. Just what do I have to do to make sure that I'm always in your head? That look of familiarity is absolutely everything to me. I want to be a part of you so much that every time you look at me, you find comfort in my gaze. That when you're in an unfamiliar place, you start to look around and wonder if I'm there too. And then when you find me, when our eyes finally meet, suddenly everything feels okay. Because I'm there. 
Of course I'm not following you. How could I possibly do that? I don't work with you or anything. And those stupid friends you have wouldn't even let me get close if I wanted to. Come to think of it, are you sure it's okay that you're the one that's on this case? Do your higher-ups know just who the victims were to you? How close you all were? Such a great group of friends they were, weren't they? <sighs> or maybe just to you. But on the outside looking in, I couldn't stand them. Didn't you ever notice how one of them would laugh just a little too hard at your jokes or how the other would always rush to sit next to you when you all went out to eat? Each and every one of them would do something stupid to draw your attention to them. It must have been tiring trying to keep up that facade. Acting like you enjoy being with those people and all the noise and chaos they bring to your life when I know you'd rather be somewhere else instead. Somewhere peaceful and calm. Like that bistro or the park and all the other places that you'd see me. Places I'd gladly take you if you just let me, but you don't see me as anything other than a criminal, do you? A danger to society. <laughs> I promise you I'm not dangerous. I wouldn't hurt a fly. And I'm the only one who really understands you and knows what you really need. Instead, you waste your time with these loud and aggressive vermin always pulling you in different directions when all you really need is peace. It must have been frustrating putting up with the mess they brought into your life, but you're just such a good person that you would never turn them down when they ask you to come out and hang out with them. <sighs> what you need is peace. I'm right, aren't I? You know I'm right. <laughs> Actually, now I don't know who would do these horrific, awful things to those people. But you can't say that they didn't have it coming. The way they'd fall over themselves just to talk to you. Just a couple of idiots that didn't deserve to even breathe the same air as you. It's not a surprise that they went missing. And it's even less of a surprise that they turned up dead. <sighs> that is, if that's the case. Okay, okay, enough of that. Let me ask you something now. What exactly were you doing when you found out that your friends were missing? You didn't exactly go out and start looking for them right away, now did you? <laughs> Come on now, don't look away. In a way, weren't you just a teeny tiny bit glad that they were gone? in that tiny window of time before other people got involved. Wasn't it so relaxing? Finally getting to do the things you wanted to do. Just a few days of peace for yourself. Did you enjoy the serenity I gave you, my love? You looked so relaxed on that first day, and even more on that second day. <sighs> Seeing you smile was all worth it. <laughs> what, you've got nothing to say to me? <laughs> Not even a thank you. Uh. Uh. I never thought our first time touching would be you slapping me across the face, but it feels good nonetheless. But your hands are shaking. What happened to that powerful demeanor you had when we first sat down? No, no, I didn't do a thing. As we discussed, I have an alibi for both days. <laughs> you saw me. You know it was me. I made sure that you knew it was me. How should I know how the culprit did it? I'm nothing but an innocent bystander. <laughs> <coughs> mm, it hurts, but I love the way you touch me. Yes, give me more. <laughs> Come on, give me more! Ah. <coughs> now look what you've done! I'm the one being accused and yet the guards have to take you away from me! <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be on this case after all! <laughs> Don't worry, beautiful, I'll be out soon. I'll meet you at that bistro again. <laughs> 
Don't forget to save me a seat. <laughs>